This is Niche Notes back tonight. Tonight we're looking at Vector Linux KDE Classic. A nice little distro from the past and from now. Just been released. Just to be a bit more stable, really, than anything else. So I'm going to go through it with you. As I've just been down the bottom bar there, tire and everything. Two workspaces. Got your trash icon there. Nothing in it. This is in a real machine, by the way, not in virtual box. I've got some bits and bits down there. Conqueror, Firefox. So I'm going to open Conqueror. Oh, I did used to love Conqueror back in the day. And it still works pretty well. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's have a look. We'll click on the BBC homepage. It loads up reasonably well, as you can see. Nice colours. It's alright. I'm expecting more, but nothing's coming. But it's Vector Linux, by the way. So yeah, it's based on Slackware at the end of the day. So, you know, it's alright. We'll see if Flash works. Flash works beautifully, as you can see by the video. I can't show you too much more. It's against the law, as they say. So I'll go to the menu. Now this is when it gets hunky-dory now. There's loads of stuff in the menu. Now just from the KDE Control Center, as you can see, it's 3.5 KDE. The classic, the old styly, what a lot of old people, or me, are used to. And what we like. Yeah, I like 4 and 4.2 and 4.1 and all the others, but hey... Sometimes things that work and don't break are better than others. So, yeah, that's my personal opinion. You can see it on the top of most applications. I'm using GTK Record Mode Desktop for doing this for you. Loads of games. It's about a 620 meg download, so that fits on a CD, so it ain't too bad. Get loads and loads of stuff. Not too bad at all. Graphics. There's no GIMP. I was a bit upset about that. But there's lots of viewers and stuff to do stuff, but you can install GIMP if you really want to. Internet, Firefox, Groupware, get KML, Internet Type Tools, Conqueror, Contact, Copet, more and more and more. Reminds me more of uh, Nopex, really, more than anything else. Now, Jack, I couldn't get to work, as you can see. I just stood there and didn't want to do anything. So I left that one alone, more than anything else. As you can see, it just went. So we're going to do something else, I think. Or anything else. Yeah. Okay. Back to multimedia. K3P, my fave M player. I've put in there VLCs there. Exines there. There's loads. Now, in Office, I was expecting more in Office. This is not the full K Office suite, as far as I'm aware. So you will need some other stuff if you wanted to download this. But it is really, really fast. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's really, really fast and secure. That's the main thing about using it, really, at the end of the day. So we're going to go to the VET control suite. So I put my password, as you can see. I'll go through it with you. So utilities, let's go through. Free memory, theme switcher, hardware info, CPU frequency. I'm going to go to the hardware info just to show you that I'm not cheating, I'm not using VirtualBox, I've actually installed it on a real machine. There we go, look. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, because I'm actually recording it at the same time. So let's take it some. Now it's not a dual core Pentium, it's an old Pentium for 3 gig with the bits and bobs. Nothing else. I'll scroll down for you, scroll down a bit more. I've not actually changed my screen resolution. Because I don't have to play with it really more than anything else. I've got a gig of RAM on this system. It does work nice. Uh, other systems don't. So, should we try CPU Blackfish? See, I'll cut that out. That took ages because I'm actually recording it. So, the actual times would be different if you've done it without recording. Anyway, next one network. You can change all your network stuff from here, all your user stuff from here. Five system can view partitions, mount partitions, bootloaders, backup systems. x can change all that from here also and change a video configuration. I'm not going to bother doing that at the moment because I've just done it for you really. Do your cups, Samba, boot set and services, hardware and do everything else for your mouse and everything you want to do. No problem. So that's pretty cool really now. Especially about the utilities you do get with it. Bearing in mind, you can download a lot more also. I mean, this is just what you get with the CD. So, you know, you might think, oh, no, it's not what I want there, it's not what I want. Just get it. Go to the system and get it yourself. Or I'll say it boots in about, ooh, 15 seconds, maybe 12. 
and then shuts down at about 10 on this particular machine, which is a Pentium 4 3 gig. So, not too bad. There's only one gig of RAM here as well, so that's pretty cool. Don't you think? I thought it did. We'll open up the Fox and see how we go. So, what I'm going to do, I'll open it up for you. I'm going to put in the Vector Linux. Linux. Oh, yes. I'm bored now. Hey. But let's go to the site anyway. It tells you all about Vector Linux. Now, this isn't the one we have here. So, what I'll do, I'll scroll back up and go to Downloads. Click on there, and I'll show you what I'm actually showing you now. This is from part of the Soho, or Soho family. I thought that was porn, personally. But you get KDE Classic Edition or KDE Classic Live. Now, what I'm using now is KDE Classic Live. It comes with all the bits and bobs, but you do have to install it. it you won't get anything really from the live CD if you don't install it. It just comes out as a blank, really, at the end of the day. But you can get virtual box images too if you want to do it for yourself. So, yeah, I really like it. You've got an old system, say I've got a seller on uh, one with 512 meg. This will run really, really nice and do all you really want to do. Because my favourite burning program, K3B, yeah, must be everybody's favourite. Well, uh, Brazil is alright, but I was brought up on K3B in my Linux times, so you know, I like it. I don't know how to use it. It's simple, it does what I want it to do. End of the day, no worries. So. If you like it, download it. It's not too long. It takes about 40 minutes on a standard download. Nothing. No worries. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later.